and Barbuda. But yes, let's take a look at some of the action from this one. So early on, you saw the signs of, of Bo Hoyt. He was pressing, just didn't get anything out of it. St. Vincent started well, but then it turned into the Antigua show, really. Most of the chances going their way. Look at that. And look at that tackle there from Gums. That surely might have been a goal for Joshua James. St. Vincent, however, did have their chances. Here was Oliver with a big chance. Couldn't convert, couldn't keep it away from the goalkeeper, Mekai Phillip. And then Bathley shifted it onto the left foot. Had a strike and look at that for a save. Yeah, full stretch from Kevon Phillips. And the resulting corner once again caused problems. It was Bathley, I think, to flick it on there. And then this chance sliced wide by Joshua James. And that was the end of the first half. Uh, ended nil-nil. It was really all Antigua. And again in the second, you could see good work out wide here from Captain Shamar Walters. Get into the byline, squaring it. Excellent defense once again from the Vincentians. There's Gums. And then Musa trying to get in behind as well. But you're seeing some of the defensive efforts of the Vincentians as well. There were a lot of attacks from Antigua. And here was Hoyt. It was a building momentum up to the goal. This chance here couldn't really make much of it. But it was a foreshadowing of what was to come. Hani Rogerson, your man of the match there with a free kick effort. And they had a lot of set pieces as well, did Antigua and Barbuda. But this was the moment. Lovely goal from Bo Hoyt just slipping it past the goalkeeper. And that's all that it needed really in this one. It started to get a bit rough. A lot of yellow cards being shown all over the place. There was this instance where there was a bit of a, a raffle, a bit of a fight in the midfield. The resulting free kick from Rogerson just rolling wide. Big opportunity for Antigua. And again, Rogerson over the free kick. He was in a lot of the action, but Kevon Phillips did well today in the St. Vincent goalpost. And you know, he kept his clean sheet, so did his work well. And at the end, they were the Vincentians had this big chance. Yeah, this could have made it 2-0. Compton found himself in a good space. And there he was, free as a bird in the middle, but couldn't convert it there. It was the substitute, Reggie Barber. Got to really kill the game there. Didn't. And then, yeah, that was the penalty claim as well from the Antiguans. The punch on Bathley. Referee saw nothing wrong with it there was Phillips playing with his food and the foul from Joshua James and later on in the end Antigua and Barbuda tried all that they could here's Bartley out on the right hand side but the resolute defense from the Vincentian 